In this video, we're going to talk about reamping, and in this case, we're going to use it on our bass. We like the sound of our bass DI, but we want to beef it up. So we're going to create an aux scent and assign that bus to amp farm. We're going to give it some level and make it pre-fader. And we're going to create a mono aux channel. And the input of that aux channel is going to be our amp farm bus. And on that aux channel, we're going to insert the line 6 pod farm 2 in mono. And we're going to select a bass amp. In our case, we really like the acoustic 360 bass amp for ultra low end. So you scroll through the bass amps, find the acoustic 360 emulation. And we're going to change the mic to an RE20 because we've used that on the real one and we like that a lot. And then we're going to set the tone. We're going to use this mainly for low end and sub. So we're going to beef up the low end, roll back the mids and the highs, and back off the drive and increase the output. So the next component to getting this to blend and mix is to add a second bass amp and make this a little more mid-rangey and less bottom and a little more overdrive. So I'm going to select the 74 Rock Classic, which is based on a 74 Ampeg SVT. And I'm going to set the tone for a little more mid-range and a little less low end. Let's take a listen. So as I was bypassing the amps in and out, you could hear how the bottom dropped out. So one of them is out of phase, so we think it's the bass amp one. So we're going to apply a trim plug-in and flip the phase and see if our bottom end comes back. Let's see if it does. So having multiple bass amps gives me some options when mixing, maybe to bring in more mids and attack or more lows at certain points. So I'm going to create another track and add a third bass amp, a distorted one. And here I've selected the high watt bass amp with a little growl and I've overdriven it with the Sans Amp bass overdrive pedal. So let's hear it all in context in the track. We'll start with the amp saw. And now on. <laughs> 